uh, I'm back to my old work where I used to go. One month ago, I I heard this word from Entrim. If you don't know what is Entrim, you can watch my video and you can have some information like how to find a job in Belgium. So uh, I am Zahir. I'm living in Belgium as an asylum seeker. I have permission to work, so but because of the school vocations, I couldn't go to work because lots of uh, fabrics and uh, the places where uh, they were they were also closed because of the vocation. That's why I was jobless for one month. I was almost going to an Antwerpen city to find a job because my best friend, my roommate, he works in an Antwerpen city. Uh, I told him that I would go with you and talk with your boss to hire me as well. But at the same day, I got a call from him to go to, uh, to go to work. So I had a morning shift. Now I'm done with work. Uh, I'm going back to work. The, the way from the way from my camp is to work is almost 30 kilometers, and I ride cycle to my work. But I know the so far but also but it's okay you know uh, before i had a very small cycle but now it's good it's comfortable before, you know i used to do an exercise before reaching to my work but then i bought this cycle so before i had a small cycle so this is comfortable i'm it's not making me tired uh, so i can go just by enjoying the view over there and Especially I really like this uh, place because you know it's so calm, greeny and the river is you can see the river flowing and in the afternoon time when it is a sunset it's really cold, it's really fresh air blowing and I really like this kind of places. Almost uh, this this week, uh, but the, the next week all the, the vacations will be finished, the school vacation and normally all the fabrics that were closed uh, which had a holiday will open again and you can go normally, you can just go regularly to work. Uh, so I hope I have tomorrow also work because uh, if you are working for the interim, you you get when you get a call from them then you go to work. So, I hope if I go if I go this week so but originally from the next week it will maybe the all of the work or the fabrics will open then I can go like four days a week so, so we'll wait for the 
call if I get uh, a call for tomorrow or so. See the bridge view from the upper side. See the boat guys, it's a very nice boat, big boat, it's going very slowly. You can see a lot of boats from, uh, floating on this river, see there is another boat I think, uh, I will zoom, oh it's a very long boat, oh my god. Still not. You know, when I was a child, uh, when I, whenever I uh, went to my grandmother's house in Afghanistan, uh, I'm, I'm actually from Lakhman province, so there, whenever I visit them, I used to be, I used to wander all day near, near side of the edges of the rivers, and I used to be there, and I loved fishing. I had a small net and I used to catch the fishes and my grandfather always uh, mad at me because I was all day in a uh, wandering in a sunny day over there and they were really worried about me that maybe I will get sick but I didn't care anything just all day just go over there and I was really I really loved I used to love fishing I remember the old days before I couldn't swim but when I was in the Netherlands I learned swimming before I thought maybe it's so hard how can they survive like uh, on the top of the water how can they float but and but uh, if I tell you honestly I learned swimming in only three four days they just showed us some techniques how to some basic techniques and we just uh, we uh, practice them in the shallow water and after that I learned swimming but I'm not that perfect but the more you swim the more you are gonna have a stamina you need more stamina like the vlog so make sure hit the subscribe button and so that you can see my upcoming youtube videos in the future and if you have any question you can write down in the comment and i'll read your comments later so it was for today see you soon in another vlog take care guys